The Caring Ways Cancer Resource Center at Essentia Health's First Street Building in Duluth is open to all cancer survivors in the community, no matter where you receive your care. We're joined now by the program manager, Colleen Baggs, to learn more about what's available there. And thank you very much for joining us today. First off, who can benefit from this center? Well, Michelle, the center is really open to everyone, just like you said, and everyone can benefit from it. The person that is diagnosed with cancer, their family members, their friends, caregivers, and it really has a little bit for everybody. Mm -hmm. We often think about support for the cancer patient, but you're talking about family and uh, caregivers. How mm -hmm. important is that? Oh, the, the, care, the caregiver role is, is huge. And um, we know from experience that cancer doesn't just affect the person that is diagnosed, it reaches all the people that are surrounding them. So um, a lot of our resources are about caregiver fatigue, fatigue and things that they need to do to keep themselves healthy so that they can manage the care. Is it uh, maybe in, in some cases just a matter of sitting down and listening? Oh, uh, some days that's what my job is. It's just um, having a, putting resources in their hands or having the listening ear where I can just talk with people. When you talk about resources, what types of things are available? Well, if you walk by or you look at the Resource Center, it looks very much like a library, but it's so much more than that. It has, um, we have classes and programs that come out of our Resource Center. We also have reliable information from the National Cancer Institute that are free for people to take on disease specific. Um, we have um, a wig room, a scarf room, where people can take things for free. A lot of our resources are just meant for people to be able to grab quickly and go. They don't want to come in and spend a lot of time in there. Mm -hmm. so. When you talk about uh, resources, about the specific diseases, uh, I would imagine when a diagnosis hits, a lot of people just go to the internet and then we start reading these things and it's pretty scary, but you can kind of set the record straight. Yeah, there is, um, there is reliable information out there. And one of the things in our resource center is a list of reliable websites that people can go, that we can direct them to. We also have a program called Oncology Interactive, which um, has the top 25 diagnosis. It talks about the disease, it talks about the organ, and it talks about um, um, the treatment options that are there. And they can print those things off and take them with them. Now, there are classes or programs that patients can take advantage of. Tell us about those. Yeah, we have a lot of classes and programs, and most of them are free. Um, we have weekly classes on meditation, just as you heard Dr. Cross talking about balancing in your life. Um, um, managing stress, um, we have coping classes, um, we have grieving non-death loss, and then um, programs once a month that come up. We have a nutrition, a dietitian that is coming in, in May, um, just going to be there so people can drop in and ask her questions. And we just heard about how important a diet is in, in battling and, and becoming a survivor in, in the cancer areas. Can you tell us more about how this program started? Yeah, well really it was the the vision of the Miller Dwan Foundation. Um, they have a rich history in looking at what are the needs of our community and filling those gaps. And so in 2003, they partnered with Essential Health. They fundraised over $400,000 to build and staff that unit. Mm, wonderful. Now, you were involved in the recent Survivors Conference. So what kind of feedback have you heard from those who attended? Oh, I, we heard great feedback. Um, but one of the common themes that I heard was just how wonderful it was to meet other survivors and talk with people where their reality was living with their cancer every day. Mm -hmm. And why was uh, why is it so important, uh, why is it an important step to recognize the unique issues that a survivor would face? Well, cancer survivorship is a very distinct part of cancer care. And um, as we learn more about survivorship, um, really looking at um, beyond that medical expertise and looking at what the patient's experience is. So that's why it's so important. Mm -hmm. And what words of encouragement would you have for survivors who might not be aware of all the support that is out there? I would just say um, take an active role in your in your health care. Um, talk to people that have walked in your shoes. Um, someone, I think Paul had mentioned that he talked with other people that had prostate cancer. We have a mentorship program there. We can match you up with someone in the community that will call you. They've been through that. They've walked in, the, in your shoes and they can tell you what it's like on the other side. Mm -hmm. And that would be very reassuring, I would think, yeah. especially when the diagnosis comes and you don't really know where to begin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you hope patients get out of your Cancer Resource Center? 
I would hope that um, patients walk away with, and, and not again, not only just patients, but their families, members, and friends, that they walk away with a sense of empowerment about their diagnosis and um, hope. Mm -hmm. Anything else you'd like to add? Well, there's just the title of a book um, from Dr. Robert Buckman called Cancer is a Word, Not a Sentence. Very, very good. All right, thank you very much, Colleen. We appreciate having you here thank this you. evening. And thank you for joining us for another edition of Healthy Living brought to you by Essentia Health. If you miss an episode, it's easy to catch them online at Essentia's new YouTube channel, and that's youtube.com slash Essentia Health. We'll be back the last Monday in May to take a look at the confusing world of preventive screenings. What tests you need and when? What are the potential benefits? We'll help you sort it all out so you can stay on top of your health concerns. Have a great night and take care. Healthy Living is brought to you by the experts at Essentia Health.